Hey everyone, it's Josh here. In today's software tutorial, I'm gonna be giving you a complete breakdown on how to use the YouTube Ads Manager platform. YouTube is one of the most popular websites in the world, and it makes sense that every business out there would wanna reach their customers there because it is so popular. But many people are discouraged by the idea of learning a whole new ads manager and are kind of turned off by the idea of how scary the interface looks. Well, don't worry. By the end of this video, I'm hoping to equip you with the skills, tools, and knowledge required to effectively create your first campaign, your first set of video ads, and generally get more comfortable with the platform so that you can reach your audience through YouTube. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video, showing you everything you need to know to create your first set of ads on YouTube Ads Manager. Now, before we jump right into the video, I highly encourage you to go down in the description below and actually follow along in real time. It'll make it so that learning this process is a lot easier than just watching me do it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And as it says here, grow your business with YouTube ads. We're gonna simply hit this start advertising button and no, just jump right into it. From here, we're gonna select a Google Ads account. Now, if you don't have a Google Ads account set up, I highly encourage you to hit new Google Ads account and go through the process and generally just skip most of the stuff if you don't have that information filled out. And once you've got a Google Ads account, we can proceed from this step. So once we've got our Google Ads account here, we can simply hit the certain Google Ads account that we wanna select and we'll get jumped right into the Google Ads platform with the new campaign specifically set to YouTube. Now, obviously YouTube is owned by Google. So many of the platform ideas that you're gonna be learning in other videos we've done, such as the Google ads management platform are gonna translate over here, but with a slightly different twist in the way that the ads are set up because obviously these are YouTube videos and not Google ads. Now, when it comes to choosing the goal for our campaign, the top two options for us are driving video views and traffic to a website. This is obviously if you're gonna to wanna to advertise something and you want somebody to click on it and go to an external site, or the second option, drive video views and engagement to your channel, which which is gonna be for people who wanna promote their own channel on YouTube. In our case, let's imagine for the moment that we're driving traffic to an external website, a product, a service, whatever we may be selling that we actually want people to click on to get to our website. So we're gonna hit drive video views and traffic to a website and we're gonna actually select the video that we want to have run as our ad. Now for this next step, it's very important that you have the advertisement that you're gonna to wanna to be running on YouTube. Well, uploaded to YouTube. It wouldn't make any sense to have a video showing on YouTube if it wasn't already on the platform already. So if you haven't done that already, I highly encourage you to go upload that video. And I'm just gonna select one of the videos from our channel here. Now for our example, I've gone ahead to the channel and selected one of our videos on the Google Ads Management platform. And we can see here, Google Ads Tutorial 2024. Now it's given us a little warning here saying videos longer than three minutes don't usually perform as well as shorter videos. And I'm sure you can agree with this if you've ever been on YouTube and seen a one hour ad, you're not gonna be as incentivized to click on that to go to the website as say a 30 second or a 15 second ad. Now, in our case, it doesn't matter because this is simply a tutorial. So we'll go through here and we'll select what the users are gonna see when they click on our video ad. In our case, it's gonna be the actual landing page. So in our case, we're gonna have the landing page be the video itself. Now in your case, for the URL that you're actually gonna put in here, obviously it'd be your business website, your services, your landing page, whatever it may be that you wanna redirect the users to that are gonna be clicking on your video ad. From here, we can hit drive more website visits by adding a button. And in this case, it's gonna show a button on the side with some sort of call to action. We can see things like visit and then have the headline. Now in our case, we're not actually gonna add a button here and we're just simply gonna unselect this checkbox. And from here, we can see what this ad is gonna look like on desktop and mobile. On mobile, it's gonna look like that with our thumbnail and we have the ability to skip ad, et cetera. And we have the desktop version as well, showing what that might look like. So from here, if we're ready to go, we'll hit the next button. Next, it'll ask us, choose the locations and languages of your customers. Now, where are our customers located and what languages do they speak? Obviously, we wanna connect with people who are speaking English because if I showed this video to somebody who didn't speak English, they wouldn't really understand what was going on. From here, we can automatically select different countries. So we can select, okay, well, let's go and add location. We'll say United States and we'll say the United Kingdom as well. So we'll just have a couple different countries that we're gonna show. Now you'll notice that as we're adding different locations here, on the right-hand side of the screen, it's actually showing us the estimated weekly performance of our ad, how many impressions are gonna be seen. Now, what an impression is, is basically somebody who sees the ad, but doesn't really see the ad. Usually this is the person who gets the ad for five seconds and immediately clicks skip. And although they've seen it, they don't really take any interactions on it. Views are the people who actually stay longer than that 15 seconds or however many seconds it's gonna take for them to skip the ad. They're actually interested in viewing your ad. And the people who actually go and click through it, it's actually gonna show the average cost per view. So how much are you spending on your ad campaign to get one singular view? The lower the average cost, the better. But this entirely depends on the actual ad that you're gonna be using. If you have a super engaging ad, well, obviously you're gonna have more people click on it, which means your average cost per view is gonna be lower. But if you've got a boring ad, 
it's going to be much higher than that. Moving on, we've got our three countries set up and the two languages we want to add in here, and we can see the estimated weekly performance of the ad. So we'll go ahead and hit next, and we can select the gender, age, and parental status of our customers. What gender do we want? what age we want, what the parental status is, and of course, in this case, you can fine tune it to the specific audience that you're trying to reach. In our case, we're just gonna leave it as all of them and hit next. Now comes a very important part of actually creating your campaign, defining who the person is that you're trying to reach. Now, when you're creating your actual ad campaigns, I highly recommend always having a specific individual or group in mind that you are trying to reach with this ad. Oftentimes when people are starting their very first set of advertisement campaigns, they say, I want to advertise to everybody. But advertising to everybody is the same as advertising to nobody. On the opposite side of that, of course, is advertising to such a small group of people that your ad's only going to get shown to like 10 people because you've only selected so many of these different topics and niches that people are going to be interested in that it's very, very hard for YouTube to actually pick out that specific person based on those specific interests. It's best to find that sweet spot in the middle where you're not going to be showing your ad to so many people that really aren't going to be interested in it, but on the opposite side, you're not going to be showing it to so few people because you've defined too niche of an interest. So in our case here, if we're going to reach somebody in the specific type of Google Ads or somebody who's interested in Google Ads, we can do things like Google Advertising, Google AdSense, uh, Google Search. These are the different types of things that we've already got from just putting on this video that Google is actually taking from YouTube itself. Now we can see things like, you know, uh, tutorials and things of that nature. So we can go through here and interests that people are actively researching, educational research, like things like that. And we can actually define our target audience further. Now, again, as we select different types of people that we want to actually reach, the estimated weekly performance on the right-hand side will change. And we can see from this that the average cost per view estimated is between one cent and six cents Canadian. Now, Obviously, this is going to be very different from what is actually done. This is just an estimate. So we're going to set this and go through here. And we've got a ton of different services and interests that people are going to be interested in actually going to view. Now, from here, we've defined a pretty solid audience, which is not too niche so that there's so many interests on there that we're really not being able to show it to any one person because there's nobody who's going to be interested in all of those things. But we haven't left it so broad that most people aren't going to be interested. From here, now that we've got our target audience, we're going to simply hit the next button and it'll take us through to the budget that's right for us. How much are you going to actually spend on this ad campaign? At this stage, the currency you're going to be paying in is based on your local region and you can enter a daily budget for how much you want to spend every day on your ad. Now, there are two options here when it comes to how long the ads will run. Run continuously means it'll just run until you tell it to stop or set an end date. Now, if you put this button down here that says, how does it work? You pay only when someone watches 30 seconds of your video ad. Very important thing to note because if you have a video ad that's one minute long but it has a five second skip button, well, in that case, you're really only going to pay when somebody watches 30 seconds of your video. Google and YouTube know that they're interested in whatever you're selling or are curious enough to stick around and not skip it. Now, in our case, if somebody is just hitting the skip button continuously, we don't want to actually pay for that. So, as you can see here, we pay only when someone watches 30 seconds of the video or the duration if it's shorter than 30 seconds and interacts with the ad, whichever comes first. So you are only going to be paying for the people that are actually interested in viewing or clicking through to whatever you're selling. In this case here, we're going to leave the default on, run continuously, and we'll hit next. And we can review our campaign to make sure that it's exactly how we want it. So we can set our campaign name, Google Ads Tutorial. We've got the video that we want to be showing. We've got how the ad shows automatically played before, during, and or after other YouTube videos. We can change that again going through here from the ad preview. We'll hit cancel and we can see the landing page we want it to take you to. We've got our locations, we've got our languages, we've got the demographics, which again, you can refine to be whoever you want to be actually showing your ad to. We've got our interests, what are those people interested in? And finally, we have our daily budget. And we can see on the right hand side of the screen here what the estimated weekly performance of that video ad is going to be. And all we have to do to start it is hit start. Now, before we go ahead and hit start here, you're going to obviously have to connect an actual payment method here. If we hit start, and we go here to this campaign. Now by default, we can see here that this ad is inactive because we don't have any billing info set up. So before we get into that, I'm gonna be showing you now a comprehensive overview on how to actually navigate this section of the Google Ads platform because YouTube is its own kind of separate section from Google Ads Management. So this is gonna be a little bit different of an interface from what you would see in our other video covering the Google Ads Manager platform, which is more so broader Google Ads. In our case, we can see here under all campaigns, 
We've got our Google Ads tutorial. We've got our spend all time, impressions, views, and website visits. Now, these are gonna be the three most important key metrics here when actually measuring how successful your campaign's gonna be. Impressions is how often your ads were shown. Views is how often people watched your video. Again, 30 seconds or more, or the duration of your ad if it's shorter than 30 seconds. Website visits, how often people are actually visiting our website. The interests we've got to show and the demographics we've set. We've got the specific ad that we're gonna be showing, the locations and languages, the budget, and the ad schedule. And that's really all you need to know when it comes to actually setting up the actual ad itself. From there, you have the ability to go and customize this to your will. And if we go back to all campaigns here, we can see that it's just basically the Google Ads campaign manager, but it's just set up for YouTube. For these types of videos, we're gonna have things like everything we've shown in our other video, with the clicks, the impressions, the average cost per click, cost, etc. And we can see that our ads can be running by adding to an ad group. We can set up a payment method to start showing the ads. And from there, we have all the other abilities shown in our Google Ads Management video, such as complex in-depth analytics, how to actually go and manage your multiple campaigns, starting them, having more control and understanding of how your campaigns actually work. And above all else, you'll be able to reach your audience better than ever before through engaging video ads on YouTube. It's as simple as that. And if you're looking for a little bit more of an in-depth idea on how to use the actual full Google Ads Management platform, we have another video on the channel just like that. And with that, it's that simple. Now, if you've been following along in real time, you should have been equipped with all the skills, tools, and knowledge required to effectively go and set up your first ad campaign on YouTube. And it wasn't that hard, was it, right? All you had to do was select the video that was already uploaded to YouTube, set up some key details about your audience and have things like the daily budget and spend setup, and make sure that you're gonna be showing your video to the right person at the right time. And making sure that you understand when you're actually gonna be paying. The statistics revolving actually around your ad, such as the impressions, the views, and how many people are actually going and clicking through. And understand the difference between showing somebody an ad to get them to click on your channel versus showing somebody an ad to actually get them to go to an external link. And with that, as always, my name is Josh Mountain. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Google Ads Campaign Manager, actually showing you the YouTube component of it, setting up your very first YouTube ad, and within that, understanding a little bit more in depth on the Google Ads Manager platform. And I wish you the best of luck in setting up your very first YouTube ad campaign and reaching your audience. Until next time, my name is Josh. I'll see you later.